Hi there, students. Today, I will be doing the reading. Our book is called Eye to Eye, How Animals See the World by Steve Jenkins. Very important to look at every page in a book. Most animals rely on their vision more than any other sense to find out what is going on around them. For these creatures, the eyes are the most important link to the world. Being able to see helps animals communicate, find food, avoid predators, or locate a mate. Animals are found in just about every habitat on Earth, from deep oceans to snow-covered mountains, and they have developed extraordinarily diverse eyes and ways of using them. Some creatures can do no more than tell day from night, while others can see colors invisible to humans, spot prey at a great distance, or find their way in what appears to be total darkness. So turn the page and meet animals with more than 100 eyeballs, eyes that look in two directions at the same time, eyeballs the size of a basketball, and many more. This right here is a red-crowned Amazon parrot. has excellent color vision, useful for finding the fruit and flowers it feeds on. The jumping stick insect is actually a kind of grasshopper. Its protruding eyes allow it to see in many directions at the same time. There could be no life, the first eyes here, by the way, there could be no life on Earth without the sun. Since the planet's earliest days, the sun has warmed it and bathed it in light. The first forms of life, tiny organisms adrift in the oceans, depended on this heat and light. Like modern day plants, they absorbed sunlight and used it to produce their food. But for more than three billion years, all living things were blind. They sensed only what they could touch, taste, or feel. Then, about 600 million years ago, a few animals, the ancestors of modern jellyfish and sponges, acquired an, an important new ability. They had become the first animals that could see. Their eyes were just simple clusters of light-sensitive cells, but they gave these animals a big advantage. The shadow of a predator could send them moving to safety, while creatures that couldn't see at all were more likely to be eaten. Millions of years passed and eyes continued to evolve. Highly developed visual systems appeared, many that could discern colors or produce sharp images, eyes and ways of seeing became more and more diverse. Today, there are dozens of different animal eyes, but most are variations on one of four basic designs. The simplest, eyes, simplest eye is a cluster of light-sensitive cells known as an eye spot. A giant clam has thousands of pinhole eyes, and each a small opening focuses light as it enters the eye. They can form detailed images. Dragonflies and other arthropods have compound eyes. Each is composed of hundreds or thousands of individual lenses or facets. The camera eye employs a lens to focus light on the sensitive surface of a retina. It is found in all birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals, including humans. Octopuses, box jellyfish, and a few other animals also have camera eyes. Move away from the light. The eye spots of the sea slug can detect light, but they can't form images or perceive the slug's own brilliant colors. The kind of eye that has been around, this kind of eye has been around for hundreds of millions of years. First, I'll take a look around. The eyes of the garden snail are perceived at the end, are perched at the end of the two long stalks, so it can look in every direction without sticking its head out of its shell. The snail's eyes can resolve images, but they function mainly as light detectors. Sensing the shadow of a bird or other predator can help the, help the snail survive. A pinhole eye. Animals much like this, uh, Nautilus, have been around for 500 million years. Its pinhole eyes can discern objects and other animals, but only if they are large or very close. These eyes have no lens, no wa so water flows in and out of the, out of the pupil. How many eyes? The Atlantic Bay Scallop is also known as the Blue-Eyed Scallop. Its two rows of blue eyeballs are sensitive to movement as well as light, allowing the scallop to snap shut when danger threatens. The number of eyes can vary. One scallop was found to have 111 eyeballs. Can you believe that? That's crazy. The biggest eye, the eyes of the colossal squid are each the size of a basketball. The deep ocean waters where the squid lives are completely dark. Its huge eyes, however, can detect the faint glow of tiny bioluminescent creatures when they are disturbed by an approaching sperm whale, the squid's arch enemy. Moving target. 
The bullfrog doesn't appear to see things that aren't moving. It eats insects, but face to face with a motionless fly, it will starve to death. The frog's eyes also help it swallow its prey. They press downward through openings in its skull, forcing, them, forcing it down its throat. Size matters. As soon as a stalk-eyed fly hatches, it begins to pump air into a pair of stalks sprouting from its head. The stalks, each with a compound eye at the end, grow and grow some more and soon become fixed in place. Two males compete for a female's attention by comparing stalks. The fly with the longer pair usually wins out. Seeing the Invisible. The Blue Mountain Swallowtail Butterfly can see most of the colors that we see, as well as some that can't. Its compound eyes are sensitive to ultraviolet light, high-frequency light that is invisible to us. Many flowers attract butterflies by displaying stripes and patterns visible only in, a, in an ultraviolet light. This insect's eyes also provide a wide field of vision, allowing it to see in nearly a full circle. You're getting warmer. A pair of heat sensing organs on the face of a green pit viper can see the body heat of a bird or mammal. Radiant heat or infrared radiation is really just a kind of light that humans can't see. These organs or pits are not eyes in the normal sense, but with them the snake can form an image of its warm-blooded prey in what we would perceive as complete darkness. Wow, that's interesting. If looks could kill, my goodness. The jumping spider is a hunter, and it relies on its eight eyes to find and kill its prey. It has two pairs of eyes on each side of its head, not visible in this picture here, that detect movement. A wide-set pair of eyes on the front of its head provide depth perception, and the two large eyes in the middle of its face form detailed images, giving it the keenest vision of any spider. Man, have you ever seen a jumping spider? That would be crazy. Two-way vision. The eyes of the brown snout spookfish are split into two segments. One part looks toward the surface, scanning for prey. The other part peers into the dark waters below, watching for the predators that look, lurk there. Two plus one. The Tuatara, the last surviving member of an ancient family of reptiles, has a third eye on top of its head. This eye is sensitive to light, but it cannot form images. Things are looking up. Zoop. This one. A young halibut, like most fish, has an eye on each side of its body. As it gets older, however, one eye migrates over the top of the fish's head. Eventually, both sides, both eyes end up on the same side. The halibut spends most of its adult life lying on its side on the bottom of the ocean. And this arrangement means that both eyes will be direct, directed upward, away from the seafloor. Over, under, sideways, down. The panther chameleon can move and focus its eyes independently. It can look in two directions at once, watching for prey and danger at the same time. 360 degrees. The compound eyes of the ghost crab are positioned on stalks that swivel. The eyesight of this crab is so sharp it can spot and, and track a flying insect, then snatch it out of the air. It can also watch for danger approaching from any side. Here's looking at you. The gharial lies quietly with its eyes protruding above the water. It is waiting and watching for a fish to disturb the surface. When one swims close, the gharial grabs its prey with a sudden sweep of its jaws. Eyes of a hunter. At the back of the house cat's eyes is a reflective layer called a tapetum. tapetum. This layer bounces light back through the cat's retina, improving its eyesight in dim light. Like most predators, cats also have forward-facing eyes. This position gives two eyes overlapping fields of vision, which makes it easier to judge distance, an important ability for a hunter, such as the cat. Built-in goggles. The hippopotamus spends much of its time in lakes and rivers. It can see well underwater where its eyes are protected by a special clear membrane. Like most herbivores, the hippo has eyes positioned on either side of its head. This gives it a wide field of view to watch for lions and other predators. Zip it! The leopard gecko is nocturnal and it can see well in dim light. If this lizard ventures out during the day, its pupils contract as zipper-shaped slits to protect its sensitive eyes against the bright light of the sun. The tarsier has the largest eyes relative to its body of any mammal. Each eyeball is larger than the tarsier's brain. These huge eyes help it to see as it hunts at night. 
Rainbow Vision. The eyes of the mantis shrimp are the most highly developed in the animal kingdom. They are much more sensitive to color than our own eyes, and they can detect, detect light that is invisible to most other creatures. These eyes help the mantis shrimp find prey and avoid danger in the colorful coral reef habitat where it lives. Sharp-eyed hunter. The Eurasian buzzard has the sharpest eyesight of any animal. Its vision is eight times more accurate than ours, keen enough to hone in on a rabbit two miles away. Wow. So here's the evolution of the eye as well. Again, if you'd like to read this book, it, was, it is called Eye to Eye, How Animals See the World by Steve Jenkins. Hope you enjoyed the story.